Terry, how you doing, man? Oh, I'm doing okay. It's good you to know, see you out here. It's nice to be here. It's better to finish with the first yeah, and start with the shitty one, just I so know. you know in the future, in I case know. you didn't know that. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Actually, it'd be better not to have the have the lousy one. That would probably be the best case scenario, but we did. And, uh, you know, I think it was one of those uh, situations that, you know, to me, there was a lot of really good positive things inside that 37th that we did a really, really good job at. And unfortunately, the uh, really the second beat didn't go as well as we would have liked it. You know, the breeze went a little bit right, and there was probably a little better pressure over to the right-hand side. And we had a great exit out of the bottom mark going with a sweet lane going left, and we just sent it into the corner. And it in didn't look good in that corner. Oh, it was horrendous. Yeah. And in retrospect, um, we had the opportunity. You know, we made such a good little gain down that side of the track going downwind that we felt like there was a little better pressure there. But you know, in in retrospect, the guys over on the right hand side probably had a little, little bit of flood, even though it's not showing on the surface. Probably taking them up wind and a little bit of right angle there. So. Well, back back to the first race though. Yep. I mean, you punched it to the left and just. Uh, yeah, we, uh, what, happened? Him. what happened in the first race? We got a... Left, and then the second leg you went right, and then yeah. the second leg, third leg you went left. I mean, was, yeah. that, was that the local knowledge race? Was that, because uh, uh, it's, it's an odd direction, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's a hard direction, and so, you know, both of our races today, we wanted to start in a position that we could get, just go straight off the line, mm -hmm. and in both starts, I didn't do a very good job, you know, maybe probably suffering a little bit from um, lack of time in the boat, and <laughs> we're doing things to try to compensate for it and working on it, but... Really, that second, that first race was set up. We got an okay start, had to clear and take a couple transoms, and we popped through and had one starboard tacker we couldn't cross, just tacked underneath them and boogied out to the left hand side. And from there, we were going really, really well um, down the first run. We drove right around Blue Moon. Yeah, Flavio took the right gate looking downwind, we yep. took the left gate and had a little better exit with traffic and set up just to windward of them. Got a little righty and basically corralled them out to the left hand side. Uh, the, the run was a little tricky, and we had a little compression halfway down, but then Scott put us in a really nice pressure vein coming into the bottom, and and again, from there, we took the left-hand side looking upwind, and uh, that was a great race. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's just, you're just kicking yourself for that second one, but such is life. You know, we just oh. move on and uh, see what we can get. I think our... Uh, Look, it's a lot of deja vu. I mean, yeah. this was pretty similar to how last year started out as far as yeah. really sort of tricky stuff yeah. and, and light and shifting. Yeah. And, and it's going to continue. You know, I think uh, tomorrow we'll be lucky if we get one good race in. And uh, then the forecast in the afternoon is is dicier for sure. And if it starts raining, that'll be that'll be interesting. Yeah, very excited. And then, uh, <laughs> Katie, now you, you know this We're guy, here. don't you? Living yes. the dream. Yeah, I lived the dream with him. <laughs> I love T Hutch. Well, awesome. I, I, and then I and then I, I poached her. After you poached her from my yeah. side, I poached her from you. No, that's a good move. And she's uh, she's been doing really well. She's she's fixing my boat now too. <laughs> Is she slapping the bass? I am slapping the bass. <laughs> up high, up high. Yeah. Terry, Terry, what was it like having Katie on your boat in the med on the TV fifty two? It was really good. You know, she uh, we just had a really bad regatta the, the event before in Cagliari, and so having Katie come in with her story and with everything that she uh, brought to the program, which was a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of, um, I don't know, just a good aura about her that made the whole thing change and change our... Uh, aura. Yeah. It's not like a psycho aura? What is it? No. I mean, is it? Um, it was just a good... I don't know. People were calling me lucky, but I don't really believe in luck. I think it was more skill of the team. A new perspective, maybe. I well, I think, I think, and that's what I mean by where I think she just brought a good perspective and, you know, experiencing stuff that she's experienced in her life and blending it into what we've experienced with ours was just a really good positive effect on the whole team. And uh, you know, we were talking earlier about, you know, we go through this you know, massive 12 day period of just, you know, all we're doing is push, 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 and then the thing stops. And we got to the airport and it was like, okay, see you later. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been, you know, we've developed a nice Skype, email, Facebook. Well, that's, relationship but that's the truth and, is you don't have time to make friends on, on the circuit. Uh, yeah. I mean, you, it ends up being all off the circuit. You know? Yeah. And so that's probably, I mean, the best thing about, I think, the experience that we had was having Katie on the boat and getting to know her as a person and sitting down here and, and talking to her and seeing her out on the water with you and and uh, knowing that she's going to become a monarch next semester going to ODU will be very cool and uh, so we'll share even even more there. Really? Oh yeah. 
All right. Did you put a word in with the sailing team? Well, the coach was the best man at my wedding. I you figured know. you might know a couple people over there. <laughs> so we'll see what we can do. Check him so out I'm next year. I'm not sure they're worthy of her, though. Oh, I won't see that. She, uh, she used to give work the dinghy lot, and then yeah. we'll find her a Melga 24 to go out and play yeah. with. And, you know, yeah. I think we can find Katie a boat pretty yeah. easily. I'm pretty sure All right. it wouldn't be too hard to do. Well, Terry, good luck tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you for the interview. Yeah. I appreciate it a lot. Yeah. And Katie. My pleasure. Anything you want to say to him in closing? Aww. Um, <laughs> Like the first week when I got back from Portugal, I was so, I felt homesick. You know when you feel homesick? I was like, oh, I miss the guys. But, but that quickly you know, wore off. That's <laughs> just that week. Are you going to get to sail again with them? Oh, yeah. I hope so. Absolutely. Definitely. I hope when? So. Uh, I don't know when. we got to see. It would be good to uh, look at some of the Far 40 stuff because she fits into the size that we're always after. And uh, having somebody with her skill set and, and skill level and really the intensity of the whole thing would be welcome on the 40. All right, we hope to see her on the Far 40 circuit soon. Yeah. It's, a lovely, it's a lovely place they're going to in the Dominican Republic yeah. in a few months, you know? So. All right. <laughs> we'll see. Guys, thank you very much. Cheers. Appreciate it.